Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun, simple, colorful, graphic project to share with you featuring a new stencil from the latest Love You Too release with Simon's Stamp. I was inspired by these new mini slimline envelopes that also just came out in the Love You Too release. Here's the size of them. They are six and a half inches long by, there you go, six and a half by three and a half inches wide. And I gotta tell you, I'm kind of loving this size. So I cut a card base out of cream and I went a fourth an inch smaller on both sides. So three and a fourth by six and a fourth. And I'll show you how that fits. It fits snug as a bug in a rug, like it was meant to be. And I'm just, I don't know. That's a cotton candy envelope, by the way. So now I want a white panel to go up on that cream base. So I trim the panel a half an inch smaller than my card base. And that measures two and three fourths wide by five and three fourths long. And there you have that, it gives you that nice border. And that border really wraps it up, makes you look like you mean business. Okay, so I put a little tape runner on my grid mat to hold my panel down. And this is the new Slimline Borders stencil. You can see how the size of it is sized perfectly for a standard slimline card, but I'm doing a mini slimline and I think you could use this stencil on any size card, which is great. So you can get a lot of mileage. I'm gonna show you kind of a unique way to do it. So I masked off only four squares are exposed and I'm gonna be using all Concord Ninth inks and these are the little Altenew blending brush tools. They work like a charm. Okay, so you see I did four ballet, what is this, ballet pink or ballet slippers, the color squares. Remove it, you see that? Now, when you go to line it up, the you can lock in your squares on the previous row, mask it off so you don't get any color on it, above and below and all around. Now we're on to the color honeysuckle, okay? Now you see this little clear container that I'm holding my uh, brush tools in? This is where she came from, this little chocolate box. <laughs> Alex got these for Christmas and I, I'm like, can I have that box? I need it for my blending tools. And look how classy they look in there. I think pretty soon it's gonna be too small, but right now, right now I look like I'm the organi organizational queen. So I'm gonna just work my way down, going in rainbow, Concord Ninth rainbow order. Listen, if you ever wondering what colors to go, Look at the, how the Concord Ninth orders the colors. It's tried and true, it'll never do you wrong. Whether you're working with the inks or you're working with the cardstock. Follow the, follow the order like you follow the yellow brick road. Okay, I'm making no sense, but okay, working my way down and sometimes I clean the stencil, sometimes I don't, just depends, you know, how much I wanna get a real true color the next time. This color here is Sorbet. And I'm using one of the Simonson Stamp Ink Blender tools there. I really like those ones because they got the color-coded handles. Um, ever since I got my, you know, my blender tools in that fancy schmancy clear case, I feel like an organizational queen. Uh, just the little things in life, you know what I mean? Trying to get my act in order. Uh, a lot of people want a crafty craft room tour. I don't have a room, but I got a little spot on the wall in the living room. They want a tour, and I like what I got. It's quite a bit different than what I had last time I did a tour, which was probably 10 years ago. So I wanna update it. I just wanna have it slightly cleaned up, and I also would like to be showered. And those two things haven't aligned, but when they do, I promise you, I'm gonna get that done. And um, the other thing, you know, with the new year, I didn't really make a resolution, but what I have done, and I'm pretty darn proud of myself is, is stop taking the elevator. In our apartment, we're on the top floor, third floor, basically it's the fourth floor, and I stopped taking the elevator. I do the stairs, there's 48 stairs to be exact. And it might not seem like much, but you know, I go to the grocery store every day and I carry the groceries up those 48 stairs, and I feel like, you know what? It's got to do something, right? I mean, yeah, I'm not trying to be a swimsuit model, but, you know, I think that small steps can lead to, you know, gradual change. That's what I'm telling myself. But Bailey, my daughter, she's hitting it hard. Like She cut out the sweets. She's cutting out the breads. She's not drinking the sodas. And I'm like, I can't give up my Coke. I don't drink it every day, but I like to have it on Friday with my pizza. Now, if loving that is wrong, I don't want to be right. You got it. There's something to be said for quality of life. Sometimes I just talk my, myself out of things. She's got more willpower 
power than me. And that's just the bare bones truth of it. Now, here's where I had a complete brain freeze. I apologize, but I went ahead and finished the rest of the card and I forgot to tape it. What I did was I did a sentiment from Kathy Silski's Just Because, Word Die. I did three out of white, stacked them up on vellum. The sequins are actually new. They're called Cupcake Frosting. Put a few of those here and there and called it a day. So this is a, a new size for me, a mini slimline. I love this graphic background. Looks like you swatched out some colors and um, you can send it to anybody just because. Sending you a big hug today. Hang in there. Take the stairs, but don't skimp on the Coke. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.